couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. In this video, we're gonna discuss how you can create amazing stuff over the G major key. And since everything is in the chords, let's start by checking out the chords we have at our disposal in the G major key. We have G, C, and D as the major chords, and we have E minor, A minor, and B minor as the minor chords. Where's the seventh chord you ask? We're not gonna use it. It's F sharp diminished and we wanna keep things simple. So let's leave out the diminished chord, the F sharp diminished chord, which is a complex harmony out of the equation for now because improvisation is tough enough to explain and try out as it is. So let's keep things simple. G, C, D, E minor, A minor, and B minor. Three major chords, three minor chords. Now, what do I mean by everything is in the chords? I mean that the whole scale, the whole G major scale is represented within these chords. Three, two, zero on the E string, which you can see if you play C, D, G. Okay? All three notes. And the same goes for the B string. Three, one, zero on the B string. Okay, again. Okay? All three notes. And uh, it's four two zero on strings three and four, which you can see in B minor and A minor. So everything is in the chords. Now, what about strings five and six? We have three two zero on both, but we're gonna play bass notes on strings five and six. We're not only soloing; we're playing chords. So just focus on three two zero three one zero four two zero four two zero. All right, and the keen-eared among you have heard that I played a note twice, the same note. The B string is a B note, of course, it's a B string, and it's the same as four on the third string, okay? So why am I playing these, uh, these two different strings instead of just playing, I'm playing, when I uh, demonstrate the scale for the improvisation part? because we're playing chords and we want as many options as we can get. For example, if we play C, we can solo with the open second string. Okay, the open second string there. Same for A minor or for E minor. Of course, it's in the chord, but we want that note for other chords where we don't have the open second string. For example, we have D, so we can add four on the third string, for example. Okay, or... See? We can add one note, the B note, four on the third string and create more options for the chord and turn it into a finger style improvisation. All I did, you saw yourself, was arpeggiating the D chord and adding one note and just taking it off and then adding it again and it created an interesting melody. That's what finger style improvisation is all about. You don't have to play lavish solos. Sometimes just adding one or two notes out of the scale to a certain chord will help you get there. So um, where does the four on the third string um, get more expression? In G, for example, if you play G with three on the second string, okay, it's another option with G. You can also play three on the first string. Okay, if you play three on the second string, you can use two and four on the third string to solo over it. Okay, I uh, intentionally played the same kind of idea that I played on the D chord. sort of a classically inspired thing um, just to show you that on two different chords the same idea can sound completely different um, for example if we play 0 1 3 on C or on G or on a minor or on D it sounds completely different because we color it differently 
by adding the harmony. All right, now the next step is for me to improvise something so you can see and hear how the improvisation process works and then I'll break it down and I'll start giving you tips. Uh, it'll be worthless uh, for me to give you tips right now without you actually hearing what the improvisation actually sounds like. And um, I'll, I may take a few moments to get into the improvisation because teaching and improvising the two different parts of the brain, teaching and being creative, so um, it might take me a few moments to really get into it, but let's start out by listening to the chords. I started out by listening to the chords, getting to know them. Right? I played G and E minor at the start just because they have the same open strings, strings 2 and 3, so they sound kind of the same. Right? It's a nice transition. And then I moved into C and I think I played the open second string. Okay? And this created a C major 7 chord. And then I played A minor 7 because C with the open fifth string is A minor 7. And it sounds interesting because it's a minor 7. It's an added note. It's A minor with the open third string. See, so far there's nothing except for chords with an added note, an open string. I didn't add any finger to the equation, just G, E minor. C with the open second string and A minor with the open third string. Then I think I played a D with the open E string or a D7 with the open E string. I don't remember. But again, I just let my fingers play a rhythmic pattern. Nothing fancy. And then I started soloing. Again, very, very simple solos. 3, 2, 0 on the E string, just the scale, and then moving to 3 on the 2nd string, again, down the scale, and using a chord that had that note, which is D, or I played D over F sharp, which is D, and you have F sharp in D, so just play it in the bass, uh, 2 on the 6th string, and then I think I used it for something like this. Um, it's D over F sharp to G or to E minor, again, to the open strings. And somewhere along the line I slid 2 to 4 on the 4th string inside E minor. And then I just kept arpeggiating the open strings, which are in the chord. And then I think I moved to C, and then did something like this. or just hammering on from 0 to 2, either on the 3rd or 4th strings, or anything else, okay. using the scale notes on the 2nd string, open E string, um, and um, I'm trying to remember. I tried to add B minor, but I don't know, for the for the character or for the atmosphere of what I was playing, I couldn't really make anything special out of the B minor, so I just let it go and came back to those uh, open position chords. Um, I'll try to focus on B minor now. Let's see what we come up with.
Still not feeling it. I don't know, you might like it, but I think that I'm, again, I'm still in teacher mode, so I'm trying to give an example with B minor and I just can't find the right hook. But uh, I might be completely wrong, and since I'm criticizing what I'm playing and not entirely in the improvisation, um, you might think that what I played was awesome. So um, that was an example using B minor. But you can just leave it out and just improvise on the open position chords. If you want the uh, F sharp diminished chord, you can use A minor over F sharp, which is A minor with F sharp on the bass, two on the sixth string. Um, it's actually half diminished, but let's not get technical about it. You can do whatever you want. Uh, you can even play G minor, for example, uh, in the middle there, if you like. adding G minor there and letting it flow and um, by adding G minor I also used D minor because I saw that one on the uh, E string worked so G and D brothers in arms so if it's G and D it's G minor and D minor and I'll stop right here with the disconnected harmonies and go back to rhythm because uh, rhythm gives the whole uh, improvisation its character. So if you try a different rhythm, you'll come up with different things. You don't even need uh, soloing if you have an interesting rhythm. Interest ring, an interest, interesting ringing rhythm, uh, whatever that means. Okay, I'm, I'm losing uh, my concentration. I have ADHD, so I'm gonna finish the lesson before I make a fool of myself even farther. So uh, thank you very much for watching this lesson. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? There are tons of lessons already waiting for you and I upload a new one every half a week to a week. So um, subscribe and join the Lick and Riff community and if you're already in the Lick and Riff community, I'll see you the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.